Hi, my name is Safa Mugaribi. I'm an SIE from Germany. And today we want to talk about some RPC Connect features. This video will only touch on a portion of the new features available in the new RPC Connect product. To fully leverage the power of this new platform, we highly recommend that you engage with MTS training. To do this, just simply go to the MTS website, click on services, click on training, click on training courses, Scroll down, here you see all the training stuff we have, like classroom and on-site training. And down below, you will find for the beginners, for the RPC Connect beginners, the basic software operation course. Then for our switch users, the people coming from the old RPC Pro product. And here on the right, you see the RPC Connect advanced software operation course. Okay, today we want to talk about another feature in RPC Connect. This will be the unit awareness of the software, which we'll see here. The unit awareness of the software is a nice feature which was added into RPC Connect. So basically, um, our previous software packages did not know about units and you needed to use a lot of different tools to be able to um, calculate, let's say, two time histories to add them together or um, and that is much easier now in RPC Connect. The idea behind it is not to use a lot of different tools then. You have, for example, here shown on the left side, a uh, time history in kilonewtons. And then with a single click, you can easily bring it into newtons. And once you calculate, let's say, a newton file together with another kilonewton file, RPC Connect will take care that the units match, then the software will add the two time histories. And finally, you get a proper result. In other software packages, which we had previously, it was easy to make a mistake there. And then if you calculate, for example, two kilonewtons plus 2000 newtons, you would get a result of 2002, which does not make any sense. A thing which the unit awareness um, brings along is when you import your files, um, you might see this kind of message depending on how your old files look like. For example, here you see a typo for kilonewtons. There, there were in this file which I tried to import here was a kind of typo there, and the software does not realize what dimension it is. So then you have to manually select that it is a force and uh, select the proper unit. For G here, for instance, you have uh, capital G, our software expects a, a non-capital letter, and that is acceleration. You can even set this into, uh, into our RPC Connect settings that these units, once you have, let's say, a lot of times a capital G, and the software should not bother you with that message, you can set it to a capital E equals a small g, and then uh, the software won't show up this message anymore. Make sure to select the right units, depending on the selection here. The units might um, yeah, cause your data to um, show wrong values. And that is important that you take care there. Our unit manager here, which we implement in the software, will show you what our uh, predefined units are. We um, have a lot of different unit sets available for you, and you can choose, depending on your needs, what unit set manager is appropriate for your application. Okay, time for some practice now. Let's hop into the software, go for a hands-on example again. Okay, in this example, we are just going to import a previously created file from RPC Pro or from any other software package we have. And I'm clicking on OK. And there you go, you see the standard unit message here. And in this case, the kilonewton meters is not separated with a dot, it's separated with a minus here. And then you are free to choose. So the software realized that it is kilonewton meters and its uh, proposal here is that it is a torque. If you are not happy with that, double click here, then you get a kind of drop down menu. And there you can choose if it's an energy, if it's a torque, the same you can do for acceleration. If you are not happy with the uh, things which RPC found here, you can easily double click here and then select appropriate unit. Once you hit apply, the software imported the file. Let me now go into the properties of the file. 
we will see that RPC adapted the uh, units accordingly. So the minus got a dot here and everything in G is now not a capital G anymore. So if we are going to use that file in any tool, let's say we are going for the header modification tool here. And then I'm going to select the file, which I just imported here. So now you will see that the FX channel, for instance, is in force. And if I now change the unit to from kilonewton to newton, so now it's in newton, and then run the tool, I will get another file, which is called, of course, mod then, because that is the suffix which we use for header modification files. And now if I compare it to the other file here, let me send that one to a new plotter. So there you go. Now I'm comparing the previously imported file with the new file I just created with the header modification file. And there you see from kill new in the software automatically multiplied it with thousand so that I get appropriate units. If I'm going to calculate or do any other calculations with these files, RPC Connect is going to take care of my units. And that is the feature I wanted to show to you. And with that, I want to say thank you for listening and see you next time then.